Good day, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to make uh, a tri-tip uh, right here, as you can see. I got two tri-tips, and we're going to put them on the rotisserie. Uh, it'll be the first time I ever try this, so uh, this hopes so, for some good luck. I think uh, it, it's going to come out really, really good. Now, what I'm going to be using is, as my usual, the Killer Hogs AP rub, the barbecue rub, but this is the start today. It's the Montreal steak seasoning. And to get it to bind, we're gonna use the Worcester sauce. So let's, let's get going, okay? So let's uh, put the Worcester sauce on. And don't skimp on this. This, this you need a lot there just to get it going. And now we're gonna take the uh, AP rub. We're gonna season that also. And as you can tell, I got two, uh, two of these AP out here because this one's almost done. And I believe we're there. Yep, it's done. So we got back up. And here we go. Ah, uh, we're doing. And as I said, don't be afraid to season. All of this will get cooked out. Okay, so now, we're gonna go with the New York. New York's Montreal steak seasoning. And this stuff has bigger pieces, uh, as you can see. And you wanna cover this everywhere. So you guys get the idea of uh, what to do. I'm gonna turn the two pieces around, no need for you to see. And uh, we're gonna let the meat sit for about an hour or so, so that it could sweat into the spices. And then we'll put it on the rotisserie. Right, welcome back. Uh, as you can see down here, we have the uh, two tri-tips ready to go. I put it on the uh, spit, as they call it. And as you can see, I have one set of forks pointing that way, another set of forks this way, and then this fork, is this way and this one is holding everything together so let's go to the uh, the Weber and uh, get it going okay cut all right guys let's get the magic going here we go we got the tri-tips it's going into the uh, rotisserie and there she goes and now we're gonna get it started And there it is. There it is. And here we go. Now I want you to notice one thing in here. My camera uh, person is following me, Teresa. You see, I only put one basket of charcoal in there. And it's hot, okay? Uh, only one basket. And the reason being is, if I put the other basket on, this meat cooks quickly. So if I put the other basket on, we're talking 15, 20 minutes. And I don't want that. I want at least an hour. I want at least an hour to cook, so I wanted to take its time. So we'll be back with you here in a little bit. Thank you. All right, everybody. This has come up to temp, as I showed you. It only has one basket, and look at this. It's about 395. Good temperature. Uh, we want to cook this meat slow. We don't want to, like, cook it in 15, 20 minutes. All righty. <clears throat> it's been about 40 minutes, and look at the progress of my tri-tip. Um, I believe we got about an hour to go. All right, everybody. Uh, it looks like this is done. I just tempted it. It's uh, at 137. So that's a little bit uh, above medium rare. We, we like it a little bit well done. Um, so anyways, uh, I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to glove up. And get the, these bad boys off and then what i'm going to do i'm just going to let it rest for about 20 minutes i'm going to put it in butcher paper or you could also put it in aluminum foil if you don't have butcher paper it is done thank you for following me and as always uh please subscribe it would really help a lot i hope you really enjoyed this thank you we're gonna cut it and see how it came out 
so far, so good. As you can see, it's getting a little bit red on the on the inside as we go. As we go in. And there you go. Rotisserie try tip. Look at the juice there. Is that something? See the juice? Something else. Now, let me give it a quick taste. And here we go. Wow. I wish you guys could taste this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And we'll be back at it again soon. Thank you. Okay, guys. The tri-tip has been served with some mashed potatoes and some corn. Check this out, man. This is a feast for a king. As, as I said before, thank you for joining us. Please subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.